Hello everybody and welcome to Expeditions Fool Tarot. My name's Brandon, um, and here with the Lightworkers card pool. We're gonna get right into it today. Today we've got a fun one, Justice. Um, now this is one that uh, people's interpretation of this a lot of times depends on where they're at um, with, with themselves, with spirituality and things of that nature. So basically what these cats are doing, they're looking at you, right? You know, a lot of times it symbolizes good, you know, white, black, bad, you know, so choices, right? And they're like, you have to choose one of us. This represents the sword of truth, right? So in order to choose one of them, as you, as you can see here, you're going to have to cut those tails because they're overlapping, right? You're going to have to cut those tails. And when you do that, you're going to hurt one of the cats. So even if you choose a good or a bad cat, when you cut the tail, you're still going to have an injured cat, right? Um, so that's that's kind of the analogy to go with this. Um, so basically what it's saying is um, good and bad is dualistic thinking, right? That's, that's the body, mind, egoic thinking, not necessarily the heart consciousness. Heart consciousness kind of transcends that a little bit. It looks at the situation as, you know, they want a choice here, good or bad, good or bad. And a lot of times life tests us with that, right? Um, even in our own head, is, is this action good? Is this action bad? Is this action good? Is this action bad? Whereas the truth of the matter is, as long as you hold on to the sword of truth, let me get it in there, or also known as your authenticity, your true authentic expression, not what the thoughts say, not, not the confusions that we get in life, but your true authentic expression. As long as you hold on to that, you don't have to decide between good and bad. Because in reality, there is no good and bad. Good and bad can be debated back and forth. Good and bad is the reason why we have wars. Good and bad is the reason why we fight with each other over stupid things. Good and bad when we get into that dualistic um, mindset. And I, I do it as well. Um, but I've, I've done enough work to realize that the, the, the true peace in the situation is the realization for what it is. There is no good and bad. So you can just take your authentic path, your authentic here path. And a lot of times this one will try and confuse you. So make sure you do the work to, to be able to know what that is, but you take your authentic path and follow that. A lot of times these these two sides wanting you to choose a cat, they're going to be left sitting there. And that's okay. That's okay if you have to leave those sitting there. Um, whether these are people, whether these are situations, whether these are um, bad habits that, that, you know, aren't fulfilling your soul. Anything that is not nourishing your soul is not necessary. And a lot of times we get caught up in the good, the good and bad in our heads um, because it's, 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 it's a lot of this in its way to keep us engaged in the drama, keep us engaged in the delusion, right? Um, so by transcending that and just speaking your authentic path and, and walking your authentic path, um, it makes the judgment, um, or in this case, justice, and it makes it, it makes it easy. You, you 100%, whether, it, whether or not other people think it's good, other people think it's bad. If you were being a true expression of your authentic self, you can never make a bad decision. Um, you can't make a d bad decision from authenticity. Now, delusion in here, you can make bad decisions, harmful decisions, etc. Um, but a lot of times, this is people making things too serious, too, too material. Um, based off of their attachments and things like that, or your attachments. It might be a decision about something with inside yourself. Um, whereas if you just seek for your true authentic self, if you're having trouble with deciding on something, whether it's with another person or inside yourself, focus, go within, um, and then you're able to grab that sort of truth and authentically move forward authentically move forward without any baggage from either a good cat or a bad cat, right? 
All right. I hope everybody. I hope this message is a deep one. I hope everybody is on on point with me today. Um, I hope everybody enjoys the video. Uh, thank you all so much for watching every day. I, I do appreciate it. Um, I do have um, several um, readings today already booked up and some intuitive consulting sessions, which take a little bit longer. Um, but I do still have some wiggle room to get you in today. Um, also, I still respond to the messages, so I'll be able to get you scheduled out throughout the rest of the week as well. Um, and again, as soon as you get a hold of me, I, um, the sooner you get a hold of me, the sooner I can work with your availability, which I always like to try and do first. All right, everybody, thank you all so much um, and go out there and have a great day on purpose.